Fifth, China-India relations should move forward rather than backward. This year marks the 70th anniversary of China-India diplomatic ties. The bilateral relations have withstood test and made hard-won progress. With wisdom and painstaking efforts of generations, we should cherish what we have achieved today, rather than repudiate it. At backdrop of the current international landscape, China-India relations have gone far beyond the bilateral scope and have global strategic significance. As a Chinese saying goes, we have no fear of the clouds that may block our sides as we are already at the top of the height. Now the China-India relations are facing a complex situation. We should take a broader and far-sighted view, work together to overcome and turn it around as soon as possible. We should meet each other halfway, expand positive dimensions of cooperation, narrow down negative factors and refrain from doing harm to mutual trust and cooperation. In face of the epidemic, we may explore new ways and channels to promote communication and understanding between the two peoples to create a favorable atmosphere for the 70th anniversary of our diplomatic ties. The media outlets of our two countries should also make their efforts in an objective, rational and responsible manner, avoid inciting antagonism in an effort to contribute positive energy to the steady and sound development of China-India relations. It is even more important to firmly grasp the consensus reached by our two leaders when the bilateral relations are overshadowed. I believe as long as we follow the guidance of our leaders, implement the consensus reached by the special representatives, focus on friendship and cooperation, diffuse suspicion and misgivings, and properly handle differences and sensitive issues, we will be able to address challenges we are facing and bring the bilateral relations back on the right track for a sound and steady development. Thank you.